When Kyle Williams was introduced pregame and saw his family on the field for the first time in his football career, he teared up inside a helmet. It's a career that might not have happened were it not for a lesson he learned back in high school. And it's a lesson that might help the Bills long after he's gone. We had a career day at school and my history teacher at the time was my defensive coordinator in high school. And a friend of mine's dad was there. He's an insurance sal salesman in my hometown. And he was trying to brag on me about how great I'd done as a sophomore and you know, gotten some accolades, this and that. And my defensive coordinator um, said at the time, he goes, yeah, he's, he's a good player. He's, got, he's a talented kid. He goes, but you know, if he worked as hard as he could all the time and he played as hard as he could all the time, he'd be special. And in a 20 second interaction at a doorway in Ruston High School, it changed the trajectory of my life. It changed my attitude, it changed my vision, it changed who I was. And I shared it with the team and the coaches last night and I told them, I said, you just, you never know what makes the difference. You see a lot of, of our young guys watching him, feeding off him, saying, okay, this guy's been in the league for 10 plus years this, and this is what he's still doing at year 13. I need to pick it up. And I think that's a great message to send to the young guys. Williams. He doesn't want to leave. Look at him shaking his head. Uh-uh. <laughs> One more ovation. There he goes. As the tears flow, hugs from the towel, Mario. It's on the ground. I don't know if it's dirty. It don't matter. Hell, I don't care. I'm dirty. I got blood on me. I probably my pants. Ain't no big deal. That is awesome. I could see it coming. I kind of felt they were going to come with that bootleg. I'm surprised the Miami players couldn't sniff that out a little bit better. on the catch for Kyle Williams. <laughs> he's got the, he's not and I'm going to get the ball on the one yard line. <laughs> Kyle Williams, touchdown! Amazing! Unbelievable! They put in Williams as the fullback and he scores a touchdown. The 12th year defensive tackle into the game and they're going nuts for the heart and soul of that Bills team. Kyle Williams and Sean McDermott wants to go for two. I don't think Kyle Williams is going to make it back out for the two-point play though. Obviously a play that they repped in practice because this was not a spur of the moment celebration. Man, they're going hard and they're straining your freaking guts. All right, that's what we got to get to. Straining every time. Now let's go. All right, let's keep working. Bills on three. One, two, three. Bills. Obviously, Kyle is you know the head of the spear. We go as he goes in kind of all our facets, and um, it's a true testament of, of his character to see you know the care he has for us and the speeches he gives us. Or um, you know you, you know that stuff comes from the heart, not really planned. And obviously with the food trucks, caring enough to. Uh, keep our spirits up as we go through, you know, the trials and tribulations of camp. Burger look good. The fattening? Ketchup ain't fattening. Ketchup is from the earth, bro. All Oreo over here. Nine Oreo shakes and a strawberry. Strawberry first, though. I'm waiting for my wings right now. Blue cheese with the wings. It's that simple. Going? Might be hot. All right, young homies, I'm out. Get in here tight. I want to look you in the eye. Let's go. If it's game day, Kyle Williams has something to say. Everybody. Hey man, these moments don't come back around all the time. They just don't. They're fleeting. They're here today and they're gone tomorrow. Take advantage of it. I'm a shoot from the hip guy. I, I like to let um, my emotions out, wear my heart on the sleeve, and, and kind of be in the moment. This game is going to be won in the deep water. 
What do I mean in the deep water? Everybody's comfortable in the shallow end with two feet on the ground, all right? We live in the deep water. We live in the deep water where it's uncomfortable, where it hurts a little bit. That's where we live. And I'm not talking about playing hard. Everybody talks about playing hard. I'm talking about straining your guts. I'm talking about from the bottom of your feet. I'm talking about seeing sparks in your eyes, and it hurts. I'm talking about straining for that logo on the side of your helmet and not the name on your back. Yes, sir. Because we know what it represents. It represents everybody here you see yes, and everybody you can't that we've talked about. Yeah. It's really kind of a way to put myself out there, to push myself and motivate myself as well as get my teammates ready to go. So it's kind of twofold. I'm here to strain with you, man. I swear to God, I'm here to strain with you. Let's go. Everything you got, strain with everything you got. Let's go. Bills on three. One, two, three. Bills. Okay, so you get drafted fifth round, 2006. First overall pick of the fifth round is, yeah. Please strike that. And let's make sure we get. I'd like to be factually well, correct. Well, it's just you know when you're the first overall pick, there's a lot of pressure that comes with that. Exactly. So, yeah. Here you are, coming from a program like LSU. You only lose 11 games in four years. You come to Buffalo who hadn't sniffed a playoff since 99. Yeah. So how do you, as an athlete, as a competitor, sort of wrap your head around that? Well, I think the main thing is just knowing that all that you're expected to do is compete. Boys, if I'm coming, I'm just gonna yell, watch out. It's really hard to win in this league no matter what. If you don't go out and put your best foot forward to compete, to work and prepare, mm -hmm. you don't have an opportunity to win. Where if you do, it's not guaranteed you'll win, but you have a greater opportunity to do so. He's got an incredible motor, and that's what's in part made him really good for a number of years. He's like one of those Volkswagen Beetles that just always goes, and you can hear it coming down the street from about three blocks away, and you hear it, it grows, it gets louder and louder, then it bang, it goes by your house, and that's the way Kyle plays, and I appreciate that. Just watch this effort right here from Kyle Williams. He rushes, he wraps around, he keeps coming, he keeps hustling, and he makes the stop. That's the motor that you love. He had nine sacks combined in his first nine years. Brady has devoured Kyle Williams. They've had a number of battles through the years. Brady had some nice words to say about Williams and the respect that he has for him as a player. And Williams just returned the favor as he dumps Brady. Oh, my God.
How do you want to be remembered? Well, I've been asked that question before. The only thing that I would take pride in and I would enjoy is to say, hey, you know who would be a good guy to have on this team? Kyle Williams would be a great guy to have on this team. Look at that shepherd. And that's really my only hope. You gotta get me choked up, man. I love playing with you. Uh, yeah.